What if you're suddenly thrown into the idea that your child is never going to communicate with you? Hello, my name is Natasha. I am 29. When I was a baby, I got brain damage from a car crash. I have not been able to learn how to talk, read and write like other people. I can hear and understand everything, but sometimes it takes my brain time to work it out. I am using my communication device to talk to you. It's taken a long time to get to this point. We began the journey of, of augmentative communication back in 1992 with just little pictures to represent words. What is the most important thing to know about Natasha? People will see the physical disabilities, but don't underestimate her. She understands just about everything. Hot chocolate. Did I hear Natasha's voice out here? My favorite buddy. Gwyn's is a coffee shop in my town. I like to go there. They are very friendly. When it was my birthday, Mallory got everyone to sing happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Natasha. Happy birthday to you. I used to say I was old enough to cause trouble. But Mom says I've been causing trouble for years now. <laughs> yes, I still do. The right to communicate is a human right. It's important that every human has that right. I think the AT Lab is going to be a wonderful resource for all sorts of people. There was no such thing available to me when I was starting this journey with AAC. How does that work? Kim is my former speech therapist. Their AT lab looks fun. I like to try everything. I want to meet other people who use devices to talk there. I think I can help people by talking to them. They will see it doesn't matter what your disabilities are. We have something to say. I go horseback riding every week. When I get to the stables, I like to say hello to everyone and the horse I ride. She is called Poppy. I go onto a ramp with my wheelchair. They made it for me so I could get onto the horse. When I'm all balanced on the horse, we walk around the paddock and meadows and down the lane. People help lead the horse, walk beside me. I have picture communication symbols on strips tied to the saddle. This is so she can let us know if she's feeling good or cold or thirsty. How do you tell us thank you usually? With your hands, right? Can you show me how you say thank you? Yeah. When I am riding, I am happy. Okay. Oh, Tosh. <laughs> we are making a movie. Hey. Could you hear that, Jess? I need to go. Goodbye. Yeah, bye, Tosh. It would be very frustrating to not have a voice, to tell people what I want how I feel and for me to ask how they are. Don't give up because my child, she's recently gotten into Skyping and FaceTiming with friends and listening to what she's asking of her friends and what they're saying back to her is just wonderful. Don't get me. I'm so pleased she can say. is important to me and I hope other parents will consider communicating is extremely important for theirs, for their children. We know what device works for me, but I think I could help people find a way to speak. I like helping people 